Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for um, the Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration. Please like, share these videos. Thumbs up. Let me know how you find these layout because I've changed up the read and I'm still here and behind the camera. I just want to show you guys what cards and energies are coming out. This month of May is the energy of uh, in a strength so whatever is going on it is not only for you people it's a general energies of inner strength so whatever the situation that is transpiring definitely energy of inner strength is the energy of the month so be aware it's a fire month a fire energy so be aware of this okay let's go back in the deck and see what's coming up for you Virgos <coughs> what is going to be transpiring and how this is going to be helping you Virgos to go along okay trying to figure out a good way to put the camera so we're calling out on the angels the light beams mother Mary place your blue man to coat over each and every person that is listening to this reading um, we're calling up on the fire dragons to clear the energies as the angels of the Virgos come out to give the message what is coming out in the month of May Ooh, I don't know what is happening, but definitely you Virgos need to listen to your own intuition in the month of May. What is coming out? There is hidden enemies. So in the first week, some of you Virgos are going to be finding out that they're hidden enemies. But the thing about it is that they can't touch you. Um, they definitely can't touch you. You know, whatever they're trying to do, they can't touch you. Whatever um, they try to plot it's not happening okay and this is so wonderful and so positive because some of you have been really dealing with some really deceptive situation and people in your life now then we have the energy of the hermit that is coming up in the second week which is two water energies so some of you could be dealing with um Pisces and scorpion these are the Pisces and scorpion energy some of you the uh, spices could be your hidden enemy without you even knowing this could be a family member um, that is coming up the third week is the end of a situation at uh, definitely the end of a situation where you were dealing with a Pisces or um, a Pisces or a scorpion and this situation is going to be ending in the third week which is a very positive energies for you Virgo so your best week is going to be the third week in the fourth week there's a transition so it's all about emotion this month is a very emotional month for you Virgo so try and check out the on demand readings to understand and find out what is coming in because definitely definitely there are situation that is going to be affecting you Virgos I'm hoping that you guys are seeing this um, layout okay um whatever the situation is and whatever is transparent there's definitely some deceptive move that is happening so um be aware of that but you are definitely going to be overcoming because this is if whatever they plot and whatever plots and whatever they do it never works out so the energy of the moon and the hermit and the hermit comes up as a spirit guide that is showing you something about the energies of the lovers now this could be um family members or it could be um your husband or wife or a twin flame or a soulmate relationship and could be your partner um because um if you're married could be your partner if your partner is a scorpion or a Pisces or a cancer um, this energy is coming in but the hermit is actually showing you something it's bringing light to a situation it's actually showing you something and bringing light to a situation now it's as if this person is connected to an organization um, definitely it's as if whoever you're dealing with um, it is connected to an organization the lovers it could be that you're in a relationship with someone and you're not aware that they are married or they have laid down a, a strong relationship bond okay and it's as if one of these people are not being honest about a relationship that they have the relationship has not ended because obviously there is another person in this relationship and 
it's coming out the energy of the Emperor is here and this is good especially when it comes on to business um, some of you there is going to be a transition in business or a transition in work you could be being promoted you could be being um, reconnecting with an organization which is a very very positive so some of you could be could have applied for a, a, a high position and you're going to be receiving it okay um, the third week you're going to be receiving that message that yes um, um, this from this um, is available um, yes and a new start is coming in now the energy of the lover is here and there's an end coming in so some of you could be getting divorced and definitely a message is coming in where some of you could be receiving the message that you're going to be divorced because here um, there is a split up that is coming in and it's more of a divorce is as is that some ending is coming in and it could be um, in a marriage or a soulmate or a twin frame relationship the tower is here justice prevails so obviously there is definitely going to be um, legal issues um, where um, the ending of a marriage the ending of a long-term relationship is here Whew. Some of you could have been dealing with um, people um, work is as if there was in the past some injustice and justice came in also okay um, it, it breaks down whatever that was transpiring justice it came in to resolve the situation the outcomes is in a strength the outcomes is in a strength which is the energy vibration of this month so whatever is coming to an end especially um there was some deceptive situation that was happening with a relationship that you were in and it's as if you have found out and end this relationship but you're just going to be finding strength to move on because something is as if you felt as if something wasn't right and it's as if uh, the hermit comes to show you something about a relationship or a connection that you are in or a situation at work this could be a situation at work but the situation at work is very good but what I'm seeing is that there you could be finding out something about um, work because there is the energy of transition that is coming in it is not an end to something it is an ending of a situation and a new beginning and whatever this new beginning is is ooh la la i guess that's that's what they wanted me to do oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. i guess that's what they wanted me to do so i can i i can't do anything so what's happening here is that whatever that has transpired whatever that was going on obviously there is going to be some judgment call and as if um as if the hermit is definitely the hermit is definitely definitely is showing you something that is as if someone you were in connection with is connected with a group of people whatever they were trying to do didn't work out because you found out you knew that something was right um, something was wrong because here they tried to dig um, a plot they tried to plot something and it's as if someone came and connected to you and tried to plot something but it didn't work out as we look in the second week whatever the plot that someone tried to plot something it's not gonna work out okay and you're gonna be a little bit upset because you're thinking oh my god you know what's wrong with these people because I've let I've let this person in and they try to plot against me you know what's wrong with this you know and in the last week there is a situation about work and you're going to be just there is justice coming up about a situation where you might be finding out something at work and making it be uh, um, and um, making it be known so whatever that is um you're definitely going to be finding out something at work and you're going to be making it known so be aware of that situation that is, is is coming up and that is transpiring because 
obviously there is something that is not either you were in a relationship that wasn't healthy but whatever that was there it was not healthy and it's as if uh, the hermit realized that and help you to make the right changes and let it go justice is going to come in some of you are going to try to find inner strength justice could be coming in against and a Sagittarian um, of against an um, Aries person a businessman justice could be coming in uh, um, against both of them and an ending is coming in let's see um, what other messages is coming out for you guys definitely the center of uh, your reading is, 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 is so it says um, breakthroughs about the organization is going to be coming in for you Virgos whatever is transpired there's some breakthroughs about the organization that is going to be coming in okay so let's see what is happening and what is coming up spiritual union um, this is beautiful so whatever that has been happening and transpiring there is definitely a spiritual union that is coming in whenever this energy of spiritual union comes in what I realize is someone that is coming from the past this is someone who you have connected with in past lifetime and um, they're returning because there is some um, contracts that you both need to work out together in this lifetime you have asked them in your life or they have asked you in your life and uh, definitely I'm trying to see if you guys are seeing this and definitely they're coming back in your life okay all right let me lift this a little bit so you guys can see it there we go so um here we have the energy of the lovers when it's um here so what are the messages so definitely it's about love intuition the eye princess comes up so you guys have the moon um the hermit and the eye princess so obviously there is a um, situation where the universe and your angels and guides is are saying take the time to meditate the answers will come in something about a past love some of you someone from a past love a past relationship is going to be coming back in your life and there is something your intuition is as if your spirit guides which we're going to be finding out what it is the I princess is saying what it is your intuition crown chakra this is wonderful because a lot of people are working with the different chakra energies and you Virgos are always working with the crown chakra and there's something about your intuition and the crown chakra now when these two energies is that someone from a past life it could be your spirit guides or um, um, are sending in someone to you it's as if there is a spiritual union there is someone that is coming and returning in your life that you need to work out something with definitely again victory and success comes up um, whatever is transpiring victory and success is going to be coming up I'm seeing this energy that also came out um, and, and, and it's a weird thing because you're reading it came up with all of these energy which I was supposed to use another energy so I guess that is what the universal angels these are all major arcanas so I would say to you connect with the extended reading because definitely there are some messages that is coming out for you guys so let's see what animal spirit guides um, you guys will be working on or wet because we're using the animal spirit guide in this year so in the month of uh, um, April you guys are working with a spider the spider spirit the spider spirit make your dreams a reality so you Virgos you need to make your dreams in reality whatever is happening and transpiring for you Virgos you need to make your dreams into reality it's as if some of you have some dreams and you have been dreaming and it is time for you to make your dreams into reality whatever the situation is they're calling upon you that it is time that you make your dreams into reality so we have also the ascendance masters that are here so let's see what is the energies for the ascendance masters that is coming out um, what is the energy for the ascendance masters that is coming out 
we have the energy of the animals st francis i've been coming out with the energy of the animals i don't know if you guys realize that and a lot of animal spirit guides because this is the year that i'm going to use a lot of animal spirit guides and it says honor and respect all animals and um, this is a good thing if you want to stop eating meat to honor and respect all animals it can also help you to guide you um, to do that like humans animal have come to the heart to own their own journeys okay and this is what a lot of us do not understand and this is why I can't I think it's so sad to have a dog all day in the house you know you know animals are supposed to be in the wild I can't I can't do it it's it's, it's so sad um, so um, this is a wonderful powerful energy your guidance today is to call in um, the angels uh, filiae angels of the animals uh, um, to look after them okay Archangel Michael to protect them and the unicorns to enlighten them and this is good if you see your horse you should always ask the universe to enlighten the horse so that he become a unicorn okay ask for healing for that horse what is coming up for the Virgos um, we have divine grace law of uh, efficient divine grace law of efficient and this is wonderful and this is good so what we are definitely going to be doing is to look at what is the affirmation for this um, divine law of innocent what is the affirmation for this okay because obviously this comes up and this is what you Virgos are going to be working with so let's look and see what it is that the law of efficiency wants from us i call upon um the loving grace and master intellect of the universe through the law of effect and the part of the least resistance please bless and guide me now in all ways for minimum success and maximize success joy and divine inspiration fulfill me may my efforts be wise and surrender powerful and effectively may all beings be assisted through divine mercies to discover the part of grace and divine efficiency through my own free will um, unconditional love and divine grace so be it so you can always go back to this video stop it and listen to it write it down and you can say this so that you can understand because you're bringing in <clears throat> powerful energies that are aligned in you and this is going to be wonderful ladies and gentlemen i want to say to you the extended reading is use the link below this and go to on the mom page the extended reading is there and i want to say namaste until next time